Hi guys, it's BC Sims, and we are back with more of the Sims 4 Alternate Realities Challenge. I was really confused for a second when I was like, I when I was doing the intro, because I was like, there's a ghost, and I'm like, wait, why do we have a ghost? And I totally forgot about Wardell. And I know the whole point of this challenge is to like, you know, stay in the house and keep your ghosts and everything, but like... I mean, unless we take Monet with us or pay attention to when he's going to die or Jinx murders him, I don't know. I mean, we're not going to have him. We're not going to have a tombstone for him. We could take Ordell. We could seriously just stuff her in the family inventory. You know, or leave him here and then set him to never call. I think he's already set to never call, but let me just double check. Well, we would have to be here when Monet dies, though. Um... Maybe we can't do that while he's out. Um, but, oh no, we have to click on him. Where the hell is he? He should be here somewhere. There he is. Flag. Okay, he has never to call. Um, because you're supposed to build, like, a family graveyard and everything, but I'm not going to be as concerned, I don't think, about that, just because the way Jinx's story is kind of going with, like, her constantly running off and not going to school and doing all that stuff, I kind of feel like, you know, I'm not too worried if we don't have the family graveyard. It would be actually kind of nice, but at the same time, unless we're here when Monet dies, you know. Which, I mean, we could always be, because when is he... I mean, we'll just have to keep... He's got two days till he ages up. She's technically got four days, so he's going to be an elder before she technically moves out. Um, and then... I don't know what I was saying. Uh, and then, you know, we'll just have to keep an eye on and keep coming back. You know? I mean, theoretically, uh, the whole idea and what you guys suggested, and I love this, was having Arliss from our Blackwell Crest uh, legacy kind of making his debut in this and kind of being someone that, you know, Jinx ends up meeting trying to rob him pretty much and then getting caught and then he tries to help her and and yeah you know so maybe she'll end up kind of staying at his place a lot maybe we'll still technically have her part of this household but we'll just have her bumming around the city as opposed to actually having her own apartment for a while and then this way you know when we know Ordell's getting close to ha <laughs> ha when Monet is getting close to age, not Ordell, I, but I just totally screwed up Ordell right there. That was awesome. <laughs> like, that's what you get, dumbass. He's still, he's still in there. Um, anyway, but yeah, so when Monet gets close to dying, we can pop back in the house and then we will have his grave and then we can continue in this way. We don't lose any of our ghosts and we could at some point at the end of the legacy have the graveyard and like do that at some point. Um, or when it makes a little more sense to have, you know, a lot that we don't leave. Which I would like to do, but unfortunately it's just been the way that the story has been going with everybody and how things are progressing that, you know. Uh, but it's almost Gunner's uh, birthday. And I do feel like for his birthday, he would most definitely... Uh, we are going to steal those from your brother. We're also going to steal those. Rondi? Who are you texting, girl? Anyway, I just want to check something. Yeah, so he'll age up and then we can move him out. Um. No. <laughs> We're like, we'll move him out. And he's like, oh, do I have to? Yes, you have to move out. You have to get a goddamn life. We'll move you into the city. You'll probably live in one of like the shady places or something. And then Colt... We'll move up after you. Colt, get your ass up, lazy butt. It's almost time for school and you got to eat, boy. 
He's my second choice, I think, if we weren't using Jinx, because I just like that he's like, but dude, like, huh, my shirt looks like a turkey leg. <laughs> yeah. I like surfing, even though I've never seen the ocean. I'm gonna be like, the best surfer ever. <laughs> I don't know why, I just give, I just, I feel like he's kind of like that. Oh, hey, empanadas. Mm. Annabelle, girl, you worth your money. Meanwhile, she's like, I hate my life. She sleeps in a separate room as her husband. So, like, Jinx is down here, like, telling her brothers all about, like, her crazy stuff. And they're like, yeah, okay, whatever. They don't believe her. When she's, like, talking about how she goes out and does lots of stuff. Because, I mean, I feel like they're troublemakers. But I feel like he's more, like, just not very bright. You know, he's he means well, Colt does. But I feel like Colt's not the brightest crayon in the box, you know. But he's he's got a good heart. And Gunner is just kind of like... You know, I can't say, like, like if they were, like, super rich, I mean, they've got a nice house and everything. It's not like they're poor or anything like that. But, like, if he was, like, super rich, he'd be like, that twatty kid, you're like, I hate you. You're such a fucking prick. Like, you know, kind of a cross between that and, like, used car salesman. Like, I kind of feel like he's the one that's doing, like, get-rich-quick schemes and kind of scamming people, you know? Like, pulling fast ones, like, no, no, totally! These investments are sound! And everybody's, like, falling for his bullshit, and it's totally, like, you know. No, this is, like, the finest heroin ever! It's not, you know. <laughs> I don't think he'd be selling drugs. Um, And Colt is just... I don't, I think the trouble that Colt would get into would be other people would be like, oh yeah, no, this is cool. We were allowed to do this. And he would follow <laughs> along with it because he's not very bright and he's very kind of, I don't want to say, I think he's super trusting is what it is. Look, he's so adorable. He just looks kind of derpy, doesn't he? He's just like, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of cute, but like, I'm not a very smart man. <laughs> yeah. So he would be, his, his getting into trouble would just be for, the teacher, I think, feel like teachers, if if he got, like, in trouble in school, would just be like, oh, Colt, again. Oh, because it's like, oh, you're so dumb. Like, why do you believe this shit? And Gunner's probably the one that gets him into trouble. Oh, God, Jinx, no. Uh, leave school early. I forgot to stop her from going to school. Because you are not supposed to go to school. Girl, come home. Girl, come home. Uh, you know. But yeah, I feel like Gunner would be the one that would be getting Colt in a ton of trouble. Like, no, no, man, I'm serious. It's okay. It's fine. Dad said we could do this. And then he would get in so much fucking trouble. Like, or like, no, I'll sign your homework. Everyone will believe it's someone, it's dad. Could you come home? Yes, Jinx should skip school. Get freaking home, would ya? Hurry up. Hurry up. Why is she not skipping school? God damn it. Yeah, okay. That's great. Why is she not coming home from freaking school? Okay, Jesus. No, we're not going to answer it. Um. Yeah. No, don't answer it. Hang up on him. We want to travel. Don't go into your house, stupid. Don't go into your house! You're going to get in trouble if they know you're skipping school. But that was my bad. I... That's what she would do, too. She'd be like, yeah, I'm going to get on the bus. And then she would totally be like, out. And she would just leave and just go to the city. And like, like as soon as she got to school she, or like another a bus stop down the road, she would totally be like, okay, jump off the bus. He slips him a 20 and he's like, whatever. <laughs> or when they get to school, like she just kind of like ducks around the building and like sneaks out, jumps the fence or something. It really depends on where the bus picks them up. You know, cool. We're just going to hang out here. She's tense because she needs to steal something. So let's go find something you can steal. Can you steal a mirror? Try to calm down. But let's come here. And, oh, wait. Can we come here? You can't steal that. Okay, hold on. How come I can't steal the planters?
How come I can't attempt to swipe anything? Why is nothing swipeable here? Okay, she she got one. Good, good for you, girl. Okay, good. So she's like, yeah, swiped an object. Why don't you come over here and make a drink? Why don't you get yourself some wine? Because no one's here. Here's my problem. Oh, look. Got all the carts down there. Here's my problem. Lately, this is the way my parks have been going. Like, nobody shows up at my parks. I mean, I guess there's people walking around out there, but... So, are you going to drink that? Yeah, so she, like, comes in here and is like, I have a feeling that this place should technically, like, be locked unless there's, like, a venue, like, a wedding or something going on. And she probably, like, picked the lock to get in here and, like, drink their wine and, like, whatnot. And steal some shit. So we'll have you use that. I'm going to have you nap on the couch after you're done. And then let's go just see what's happening down here while we while she takes care of some stuff. So we got some carts. And what we got here? Oh! Oh my god! I don't think I've ever seen the Chinese food stand. I'm serious. The Chinese food stand is like never freaking around. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. It's a beautiful... It's almost like a hotel. I think it's a hotel. It looks like it should be. You know what I mean? Like, but look how beautiful it is. Like, God, the details in the city are freaking amazing. Um... But, like, all these people doing stuff. And now... Okay, that stall's closed, but it's okay. Because we'll get there. And... Oh, good. When Are you up now? There should be posters. No? Damn. Can you... I wish you could play in this fountain. Wait, what is it? Oh, no. I just clicked go here by accident. Oh, let's view that. Because I forgot that there's, like, a thing that you can view all those little things. But are they just around in the park or are they all around San Myshuno? I really forget. Um, And I always forget to, like, read them. But there is, like, a little thing if you actually read them all. You know what I mean? But I just don't know what it is. So she's just going to enjoy her day around the park. You know, because she's never been here. You know? She doesn't get to go out much. And, you know, she only has so much time before she's got to be home. Otherwise, they'll realize that she's been skipping school. So. So let's see. What else is there? On this spot, the Lama Freedom Movement was born. A simple protest known as the Lama Sit-In shocked the public with its extreme use of acoustic guitars, hair flowers, and slightly tuneless singing. It sounds like me. Through many year, though many years have passed since that day, the spirit of activism remains alive and well and will continue until all Lamas are free to strut and spit and neck wrestle to their heart's content. Plaque paid for by the Lamian Popular People's Front. The Lamian Popular People's Front. Okay. And here's this cute little wine bar that's adorable. Let's see. What's down this path? Or anything? Well, let's come over here. Can we grab a poster? No, all the good posters are taken, huh? I've never actually followed everything around. Here's another one. Let's go visit this plaque, huh? I thought there, I want to say there's like 12, but I don't really remember. Boop, 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 boop. There's nothing on there, I guess. But like, look at how fun this, look at how pretty this is. There she is. Let's follow her. And she runs. Run! Run, girl, run! Let's not follow her anymore. <laughs> Let's not. Let's go read that sign. And why can't my, why won't my freaking screen move? Holy goddamn hell. Uh, then let's go this way. What's over here? Oh my god, school's already over? Jesus, we spent all day at the park. Okay, let's come over here and read this one. Raised in memory of the Open Street Act legislation, which allowed 
communities of all cultures to organize celebrations in the streets. The progressive vision of our founding fathers has allowed generations of residents has allowed generations of residents to enjoy the many delights that Festival City has to offer. Plaque donated by Dinosaur Dinosign Co. If it's in the streets, it's on our signs. Good lord, that confused the bejesus out of me. The plaque commemorates the shirt factory meteor strike and subsequent big lizard incident that raised the fashion district to ash. Like a phoenix reborn, the district has risen from the, this disaster to become an exemplar of regeneration with award-winning modern architecture and a vibrant festival scene that is freaking crazy and awesome at the same time. So, like, any other, like, signs hidden, like... Where in the world are the rest of the signs? Like, I know there's other ones. But I don't know. I mean, are there any up here? Like, I never noticed. This is where I've come when I come to the park. I don't know how many there are. I thought there were some, but I thought they were scattered throughout the city and not just in the park. But I don't know, because I've never really paid attention or noticed any of them anywhere else. So... Grab a poster! If you know where they are, tell me where they are. Just have to keep an eye out. So she's grabbing that poster. We said this one, right? Or was it that one? Okay, let's grab this one. Grab this poster. Grab a poster. Grab a poster. I know we should send her home so she can go take a nap and stuff. And she's also hungry. So let's actually. Oh, none of the things are open. But when she comes back over here. Oh, that one's open. But I really want a Chinese food. The burrito stands open. What's in here? Oh. And bananas, taquitos. What's on this one? Yeah. I guess we'll get that. Because she needs food and the Chinese food stand isn't open. So if it opens by the time she comes back over here. I don't know where she is. There she is. She's way the hell over there. Like, poor girl's like, I'm running all over this damn park. Oh my god. Nope, there she goes. She is deathly tired. She's probably going to pass out, but we will have her eat. She's like, yo, dude, I need some food. Do, do, do. Okay, so we're going to have her eat. I wish you could play in this fountain. I really do. And then we'll have you go home. But after you eat... Finish eating, girlfriend. Okay, bye. Anyway. This was a very uneventful episode, honestly. <laughs> like, I'm just... I'm a little burnt out from recording X Worth of Sims all at one time, so it's like... It's not even funny. Okay, go to sleep. And we'll just hang out with your brother. He's like, I've probably been standing here since I got home. Do you have any friends? Like, do you have friends at school... Skelly Bear and Blarfy do not like you. You know this little Billy chick. But like you... Oh, you poor thing. We're gonna have to have you make friends, handsome. What about you? You know some people. You really hate Skelly Bear. Skelly Bear hates you too. You guys only know Billy. I mean, like, no other kids from school. Like, it's about time you actually did something. You've literally probably been standing... On the sidewalk since you got home. And yet nobody's worried about you because your family is like kind of a bag of douches. <laughs> Meanwhile, why is everyone in their underwear? Doesn't she have to when do you have to go to work? You have work in two days. 
Yeah, I'd cry about your life, too. <laughs> I love how they do that. Like, oh, the kids are around. We got to pay attention to each other and pretend we like each other. And then he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm out. Bye. I'm going to bed. Okay, I'm going to go downstairs to my studio and paint in my locked room where all of my kids think that it's just my art studio, but it's really where I sleep. But you think that I, I clearly think my kids are dumb because they obviously know. Even though this door's locked. And, uh, Jinx would totally go in there and steal shit from him. Which she's gonna do before she actually moves out. Actually, I think maybe if we do what I was thinking and she technically lives in this house, but we have her visiting all sorts of other people and spending the night, um, with, at Arliss's place or other people's houses and whatnot and not coming home very often, then when Monet dies, it'll be like, oh, that's when she takes all the paintings and stuff like that and sells them. What, bird? Oh, you just want to snuggle with your mom, Zish. Oh, crazy bird. Um, oh, please don't sit on my chest. Your toenails are way too long. I love you, but I hate your toenails. You do. You need to trim your toenails. I wish you'd let me file them with my nail file, but you won't let me do it. He's sitting, like, pretty much with his face in my mouth right now. I'm sure you can tell, because I sound fairly muffly. That's because I have a bird in my face. Don't bite my nose, brat. He's like, you haven't snuggled with me all week. Because I haven't. I've actually stayed at work all week through lunch, even though I normally come home, because I'm like, eh, saves me gas money. <laughs> Why is she sleeping downstairs? She just, like, passed out. And meanwhile, they're like, oh, la, la, nobody cares. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny that they're all crying at this movie. The Adventures of Spaceship Simulation. I have never heard of this one. We're gonna watch it with them. Star Trek. <laughs> and he was, like, crying. <laughs> oh my god, look at those things! Those are friggin' frog things! Oh my god! Look <laughs> at how scary that thing is! That frog creature is creepy as shit! I love it! It's genius, I tell you! Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> Look at that one! <laughs> I'm like looking at the the brown one in the background. It was like so creepy. Oh my god. These frog things are kind of funny and scary at the same time. Like, Is that the end of the movie? Better not be. Chatting with Annabelle and Colt. Are you chatting about the movie? I'm curious as to, uh, what's this? Flavor inspiration. Hmm. Really? It was the end of the movie? Okay. Whatever. I don't get it. So the frog beat the robot, and now the robot is the frog robot slave? I don't know. It looks like it's a barrel full of post-it notes, and that really excites me. Actually, you know what? It kind of also looks like napkins. Look, here's our party napkins. Or giant post-it notes. I would really hope it's a basket full of giant post-it notes, because that just would make me happy. Yay, post-it notes! Yeah, you know what, Annabelle? I gotta be honest with you. This is really kind of inappropriate loungewear to be sitting out in front of your kids with, but, you know... It's the Sims. They're not very appropriate, are they? I mean, she's got a bag of body. But it's kind of just interesting that she's just... I mean, girls got ass for days. Like, seriously, did she always, was she always that freaking curvy? Like, good lord. Maybe it's because she just she's an adult now, but like... They usually start looking a little kind of dumpy, but she just like... She just got, like, wide hips, but, like, it looks good. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess she's technically, looks like she's not as 
super skinny, but like she still looks really good, especially in her loungewear, which she should not have been sitting in front of her sons with, because good lord, girl was busting right out of that bra. Oh, we can all only wish. Um, not that she would bust, that just that we would do that. I kind of do that anyway, but <laughs> like. He's like, okay, um, I'm gonna read you a bedtime story, Jinx. So, like, I hope that helps you sleep. And she's, like, passed out, like. Uh, oh, it's because she's squeamish, isn't she? Isn't, is she squeamish? I don't know. What's her personality like? Why can't I ever click through? No, she's neat. She's just uncomfortable because it's filthy down here. She's like, oh, my God, Piper. Piper, clean your bathroom. Really, it's not Piper that gets it disgusting. It's what's-his-face. Grab a serving of something that looks like a nest. I don't know. Anyway. Um, we're getting close to time, so... What is she eating? Oh, is it like a... What are you eating? What are you eating? I want to know what you're eating. What are you eating? What are you eating? Is it pho? Some kind of noodle. It is pho. Okay. She doesn't know how to use chopsticks! Me! I don't know how to use chopsticks either, bitch. I'd be using a fork. I'd be like, fuck that shit. Chopsticks. I'd be doing the same thing, like, trying to get a noodle in my mouth on a chopstick. Anyway. <laughs> I know he was looking at the TV, but right when her mouth caught on fire, he was like, no! Like, oh god, mom! What's this? Spicy burn and embarrassed from being a tard with chopsticks. But I don't blame her. I couldn't do it anyway. Um, But yeah, so anyway... We, I will wrap this part up here. We will have Gunner's birthday in the next part. Hopefully we don't forget. And then we'll probably move him out and then just kind of keep going. Not Gunner's birthday. We'll have Colt's birthday. Yes, Gunner's birthday. That's Colt. Other one's gun Okay. I just... For a minute, I I said Gunner properly because we were on him. But then I kind of like... Look at this bored face. Is he here? Oh, he just must have been watching thinking about the other one um but i was looking at colt so i don't know why i saw gunner down here and i was just i got confused anyway so yes we will age gunner up in the next part and move him out and then we'll just kind of keep going so yeah i will see you guys next time remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more